Hey, it's Jacob from MotorInAutoGroup.com and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up CarPlay using the Sync 3 system. So to get started, you're going to want to plug in your iPhone to the provided USB ports in the car. And then you'll plug in your iPhone and the car will recognize that your device is plugged in and then you'll be able to use the CarPlay features. To use CarPlay, you need to have a cord if you're using iPhone, but to use Android Auto, you don't. You can just do it with Bluetooth. So you can see you get a wide range of options. You can do phone, music, maps, messages, now playing, sync, podcasts, or audiobooks. Sync's going to take you right back to the menu at the start. And to get back to CarPlay, you're just going to hit Apple CarPlay. So then you can see this will use your phone's data, but that way you can use your phone's provided maps if you don't want to use the car's navigation system. This is how you get home. You just, just like an iPhone, you press the home button. Now playing is going to be really similar to the music feature and you can see you can pick songs, playlists, artists. Podcasts and audiobooks are going to list all your downloaded podcasts and audiobooks. So for example, I don't have any audiobooks, but if I did, they would all be listed and available here for me to play on the, on the car. You can see you can use messages, use your phone. So over here on the right hand side of the steering wheel, you're going to see this button. This button will let us access Siri, which will work just like a normal phone. So for example, if we press this, it'll pop up. What's the weather like today? It's currently partly cloudy and 75 degrees in Spirit Lake. Expect mostly cloudy skies starting in the afternoon. Today's high will be 86 degrees and the low will be 75. So that's just a simple look at Apple CarPlay. You can see it's a great feature and it's really easy to use. Thanks for watching.